the, the biggest challenge I face is the temptation to keep making maps. I'm always thinking of new things that I could be, could be doing. Uh, sometimes it's doing the same thing for a different area, sometimes it's trying to come up with new ways of uh, portraying something that I think should be mappable. For instance, one of the things that I really want to develop is a way of mapping the, the life trajectory of an individual in geographical terms, showing how an individual was born in a place, moved somewhere else, say for education, moved to other places in, con in connection with employment or their political campaigns. Um, now, it's possible to draw a line on a map, but I'd like to sh have some way of incorporating not just the geographical movement, but the sense of time progression. Um, I can think of a couple of ways in which it might be possible, but I haven't yet been able to work out ways of turning that possibility into an effective map. I've tried it, and I look at the maps and they're not, they don't really work. Have you then considered um dynamic maps, in other words, where you're, what would you call it, not a cartoon, but where you're actually, again, look at new technology of actually having a map that is changing over time, um, and that you could actually trace a person that way, mm. but like PowerPoint does, where you, you know. <coughs> I've, I've considered uh, trying some kind of dynamic mapping. There's a couple of problems with it. One is that the maps tend to be fairly greedy in terms of, of memory. So a single map, it doesn't take a huge amount of memory, but it takes a, a, it's not a trivial amount of, uh, of memory. And if you then start to make the map dynamic, the memory demands are going to be very much larger. Second problem is that in a dynamic map the problem of continuity of information is much more serious. So in the kind of map that I was just mentioning of tracking the life's trajectory of a, of a person, if I had a static map I could cope with gaps in the information. I could do uh, dotted lines or the, the equivalent. Um, but if you have a dynamic map and suddenly the picture stops, suddenly there's no information. It becomes... it's disconcerting for the, uh, for the viewer. It's also the case that it's a little bit more difficult for people to, to use, to print um, dy dynamic maps. It, it moves into a different kind of world. Uh, I wouldn't say that I'd never start to move into that kind of world, but for the moment there's still quite a lot of things to explore in the, the format of the static map. I'd like to keep doing that.